Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back today for another Fortnite video right here on the channel and I appreciate you taking time to stop back by. Now today what I've got for you is a new video going over the event that is confirmed to go down on Sunday, November 4th. I've got all the details you need, so definitely stick around all the way through the entirety of the video. And if you could do me a favor and drop a like and subscribe too, that'd be great. If you could do me a favor and use my supporter creator code PINEAPPLESYT if you end up purchasing V-Bucks for any of the cool new skins that are coming out, I'd appreciate it. It's just a super quick and easy way for you, the fan, to support what I do here on YouTube, if you so choose to, of course. So Epic just a couple hours ago went on Twitter and said Fortnightmares in Battle Royale will end on Sunday, November 4th at 1pm. Finish your Fortnite Mirrors challenges by then to unlock the Dark Engine Glider, and log in early and be in match to witness the one-time event occurring at 1 p.m. Eastern. So there you go, we have official confirmation that upon the ending of Fortnite Mirrors, we're gonna see an in-game event, and one can heavily assume it's going to be the Cube. The event that we've been waiting for for so many months at this point is finally confirmed to be happening this weekend. I was kind of surprised they did not do it on Halloween, but doing it at the conclusion of the Halloween event also makes sense, I suppose. If you take a look at the cube right now, it is literally so insanely cracked. Like, it's way beyond the minor cracks that we saw like a week ago when this first started happening. Now it's literally fully fledged cracked, almost cracked open, and there are weird lightning spurts that just keep kind of occurring from inside the cube. Everything is signaling the end of the cube coming up here on Sunday, and I for one could not be any more excited to find out what's actually going on. And also, this might just be a personal thing, I don't know, but I'm sick of hearing about the cube. It's been a long time, it's served its purpose, let's get it out of the game now, let's have this wrapped up. We have some more information though about the cube, here's how the cube is going to look moments before it actually explodes. That's apparently what it's going to be doing. It's going to be exploding based on evidence in the game's coding from the patch this morning. And it's kind of interesting because at the top there, you can see there is definitely a reference to a weakened cube in the game's coding. So basically by the cube cracking open like this, it is weakening. It's getting less strong and less powerful. I'm not exactly sure why right now, but I feel like that's gonna have a pretty significant impact later down the road. Not only is it going to explode, but it looks like there's going to be a butterfly. Yeah, you heard me right. Literally a butterfly, maybe in the cube or somewhere else outside the cube. That much isn't confirmed because I've seen both of them reported, but for sure there's going to be a butterfly, and the butterfly is the main focal point of this event, apparently. The butterfly models in the game's coding right now definitely are kind of bland, but you can see for sure there are butterfly models there, and that actually is very convincing to back this all up. But wait, there's more. It also looks like this butterfly, when it does emerge from the cube or wherever it's coming from, is going to have three different stages, and they are not normal stages, they are damage stages, which means we could see some serious damage or destruction done to the map. And finally, here's an image that was data mined of a new island that will show on your mini-map. So that's definitely extremely interesting. I'm curious to see what this whole butterfly event is going to be, and if that in any way relates to the hunting party skin coming up here soon, because as you guys know, there have been theories of, you know, the hunting party skin being inside the cube based on the fact that the blockbuster skin in season four also emerged from something major about that season. We don't have much longer to wait though, guys. It's confirmed to be November 4th, so, with that said, who's hyped about it? Let me know in the comment section down below if you are going to be watching this event live, because the last time they did this, it was the rocket, you know, everyone was getting on to watch that rocket launch and watch it make the rift in the sky and go all through those crazy routes, and it broke all kinds of gaming records in terms of most amount of people watching a live in-game event at one time, and I bet this has a good chance to break those records. In Season 4, there were some people who didn't exactly pay attention to the storyline, it wasn't nearly as big, but now, if you play Fortnite, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that you know about the cube and you at least followed it a little bit, you know about it very vaguely just from a few videos or a few tweets you read. I feel like it's just going to be easier to get people to get on this time and watch something that's been building up for two and a half plus months, and you know, at that point you've invested a lot of time You've seen it for a long time and you just, you know, you just want to figure out what's going on with it. Unfortunately, I'm going to be traveling and I'm not going to be able to watch it live, which is strange and it's really unfortunate, but don't worry, I'll still have all the coverage right here on my channel. 
So yeah, definitely let me know if you're planning on watching it live, whether that be through, you know, playing it in game, getting in a game and doing it yourself, or watching a live stream or anything else. Just let me know if you're going to witness it live because it could be a pretty big moment in gaming history. It really could be. So now I actually want to talk about the week six loading screen that got leaked. Usually every two weeks when there's a major patch, we get an update to the loading screen, and usually they get leaked in increments of two. So, for example, say weeks one and two, then three and four, then five and six, and seven and eight, nine and ten, you get the gist. But recently, the past two times we've gotten a patch, we've only gotten one loading screen per time. The only reason I can think of why they do this is because they want to protect the identity of the hunting party skin for as long as they can, because if they just give away the loading screen, there's a very good chance we're just going to figure it out really quickly. So I guess they're just trying to protect against data miners and other people who leak to not try and spoil it so quick this time, which I, you know, I'm a fan of. I can get behind that. It's always nice when you get a nice surprise here and there. But anyway, without any further ado, here is the week 6 loading screen. So, as you can see, you have Calamity and Deadfire, I believe those are the names, but just the male and female Calamity fighting off a huge horde of zombies that basically has them surrounded and cornered, and they're just, you know, just fighting them, just going to town on them. These two characters are quote-unquote the good guys, and it looks like they are running low on ammo and they're about to be absolutely eaten alive by the zombies. Now I want to go back to what I talked about with the cube weakening, you know that's literally in the coding, it says cube weakening. Now if you know the cube, you know that it's evil, everything it stands for is evil, it is the source of the zombie spawning anyway. If it's weakening, wouldn't that mean that when it does finally explode, everything bad and negative about the map would go away and everything that's bad would just be gone. And also to top that off, there's apparently a butterfly in the cube, and when you think of a butterfly, you don't think of, you know, something bad. A butterfly is nice, it's peaceful, it represents hope. So my prediction for what's going to happen in the next loading screen is after the cube explodes and the butterfly comes out or whatever happens happens, the two characters on the week 6 loading screen, the one I just showed you, are going to get reinforcements and this is kind of where I'm wondering if the butterfly has any significance or any relevance at all to the hunting party skin. Maybe he will actually turn out to be a butterfly, that's a very wishful thing to say, I'm not exactly sure if that makes sense at all. but. I definitely think the good guys are going to turn the tide in the next loading screen and there will be some help. You know, it looks like they've been pushed to the brink and they are about to get absolutely eaten by the zombies, but my prediction is the tide turns in the next one. Guys, there's so much going on in Fortnite right now that you definitely want to be subscribed with notifications turned on, ring that bell, so you can be among the first to learn instantly anytime I put out new content, go live or anything else. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.